we're back. Whew, you may be wondering what I'm doing. Wearing these strange futuristic clothes from Asia. <clears throat> it's because this is a time travel uniform, a very sensitive piece of equipment. We're here inside of the 2006 future Mustang. Do you recognize this road? I hope you do, because that is the road to Old Man Peabody's farm, the Twin Pines farm, now known as the Lone Pine farm. He had this crazy idea about breeding pine trees. Huh. Anyway, located, oh man, that time travel, man, it's just, it's hard on the knees. Located just behind that pole is a water tower. That is a water tower for a women's correctional facility. And if I'm talking about women's correctional facilities and time travel in the same sentence, that can only mean one thing, my friends. One thing and one thing only. That this is the sometimes vlog! <laughs> it's a vlog that happens sometimes. Okay, welcome back to the sometimes vlog. Today we are on this dusty road. We are not in the middle of nowhere, as desolate as this may look. We are actually on the, we are actually in Corona, California, but just on the border of Chino, California. As a matter of fact, this road back here, this is just a little private offshoot of that road, it's called Chino Corona Road. So aptly named, you know? I wonder where they thought of that one. And this stop is for a very good reason, because this is one of my favorite places. I've been coming here on and off for a long, long time. Do you recognize it? This is the big reveal here. I'm sorry I don't have music for you. Here, how about this? We'll do the Adam the Woo thing. You don't recognize this? Come on, all right. Let me, let me paint a picture of the scene back in 1955. Along this quiet, peaceful road from old man Peabody's farm comes a shiny, metallic, futuristic vehicle skidding to a halt. A young man and in a much uglier time travel uniform, I must say, a yellow nuclear jumpsuit gets out of the vehicle and slowly comes over here. There's a crane shot, and what do you see? Two giant prop signs for the Lion Estates and a giant billboard coming soon. The Lion Estates. That's right. It would have been Marty McFly, Back to the Future, coming here. He's just traveled back in time. He's just had an altercation, or, well, they had an altercation with him. At the Peabody Farm, he killed his pine. You're gonna kill my pine! <laughs> Space Buster! He comes here, he gets out of the car. Whoa! This is where his future home is going to be! Now, as a child, I didn't really realize when Back to the Future, you know, was my jam as a kid. I didn't really realize what that meant. Like, oh, I get it. This is gonna be his housing track and where he's gonna live. Isn't it weird how you watch movies sometimes as a kid and the full implication of what you're seeing doesn't really sink in? You still love the movie and then as you get older, there's all these little treats as you get each little thing. Actually, I think I got that one. I don't know. I could be referring to something else. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm very groggy and tired. I was awake all night last night watching Charlie Chaplin movies, Modern Times, City Lights, things like that. Not Robert Downey Jr. Chaplin, but actual Charlie Chaplin movies, although the Robert Downey Jr. Chaplin movie is freaking fantastic. That man can act, I tell you what. But we're not here to talk about Robert Downey Jr. or Charles Chaplin. We're here to talk about Robert Zemeckis, Christopher Lloyd, Michael J. Fox. Because this was the scene where Marty McFly fully, finally realized, like, no way. No way, no way. I might have traveled back in time, maybe. Maybe. I was actually here, well, I've been here a few times since, but really the most notable last time I was here, I was here with Adam the Woo, my buddy, see, bringing it full circle back to that musical noise. When he was out here two years ago to film, well, not, it was last year, beginning of 2013, when we filmed a grand adventure Back to the Future filming locations video for his main Adam the Woo YouTube channel, 
which was a heck of a lot of fun. I actually met Adam years and years ago because I had a Back to the Future Filming Locations website and I was in a punk rock band and Adam was in a punk rock band and loved filming locations. He used to travel all around taking pictures of filming locations and so did I. So we kind of like hit it off on the internet talking about Back to the Future and how much we love Back to the Future. So when he first came out to California, the first big California trip doing videos, we knew we had to collaborate and join forces on a Back to the Future filming locations video. And then this year, 2014, way earlier this year, we actually did the filming locations from part two. Part two, many of which I'm actually the person who hunted them down with the help of the one of the location managers from the sequels and put on the internet years and years ago. But you can find them anywhere now. There's really no point telling you where this is because I'm sure you could Google it in about two seconds and spit out an address faster than I could possibly, possibly tell you. But I will say, if you look for the Chino Women's Prison, it's just whoosh, right down the road. Yes, look at it. This right here. This gravel road has actually shifted back and forth over the years on this property boundary because this tends to flood a lot. So half the time I come out here, there's a giant pond or different crops growing out here. But uh, yeah, this at the time I think was an Altadena dairy farm in 1985 when they filmed the original Back to the Future movie. But it is now no longer a dairy farm, I don't think, because I never, ever, ever seen any cows out here. But that doesn't mean that they don't grow stuff for cows to eat, I guess. Anyway, when I was here with Adam, you gotta watch that video. Pretty funny. We were running all around, climbing under the fence, over the fence, having lots of shenanigans. We were looking for this log on the side of the road because there's a behind the scenes picture of Robert Zemeckis and Michael J. Fox sitting alongside this road somewhere on a log. But alas, the stump, the log was gone. Uh, one of the ways, Adam actually noticed this after years and years of me coming here and always trying to place exactly where the billboard was. He noticed you can see this tall pole, small pole, tall pole, and that would have been bam, right where the billboard was, which means they would have, Marty would have pushed the DeLorean right back in there, and this is where it would have been hidden. And of course, in part two, when Doc is back here at the DeLorean and he flies up, Marty burns the sports almanac and Doc is sent whizzing through the air because he's been struck by lightning, sent back to 1885. That was not filmed here. That was filmed on the giant stage 12 at Universal, but they pretty faithfully recreated this road. The way you can tell it's definitely not the road, the actual road, is because on the stage 12 version, the road is totally flat. And as you can see, the road here is not flat at all, and neither is this. It's actually kind of a little bit of an embankment that he pushes the DeLorean down into behind that billboard. See, the weird thing is though, if this is a big major thoroughfare in 1955, and you have cars coming past, enough cars at least to scream, ah, yeah! you know, if you remember that, you have enough people screaming, driving by to scream, you would think that a flat billboard couldn't hide a shiny metallic time machine behind it branches or no you'd probably wonder what the heck is that shiny thing back there and in the 50s i don't think it would have been that bad to hop over some farmer's fence and check out the shiny doodads huh what do you think okay so maybe a little bit of a plot hole maybe not really maybe nobody drove down that road during that time period who can say i wasn't alive in 1955 and therefore i have no idea that sentence doesn't even make sense hmm Anyway, the quest for positivity continues. Watching a lot of Charlie Chaplin films. A heck of a lot of fun. I love those old silent tramp films. That's what I was doing last night. But right now, I'm coming to pay my respects and take a little visit to the filming location. One of my favorite, my, mm, yeah, probably hands down my favorite filming location from one of my favorite movies of all time. The other's probably being Star Wars, Indiana Jones, you know, the huge Back to the Future. Huge, epic, amazing movie, especially part one is like a pretty, I mean, other than the billboard thing I was just talking about, it's a pretty flawless movie. I mean, it's a perfect 80s movie. You've got sci-fi, you've got action, adventure, weird, taboo, romance, Ugh. kinda, a little. You've got Dr. Emmett Brown. What more could you ask for? Teen angst, maybe, with Biff. Butthead. I don't know, I just love that movie. Do you love Back to the Future? If you do, how much? There you go. There's the shot. Well, maybe we back up a little bit. 
Billboard here, DeLorean stops here, billboard here, line estate signs here, the road going down here. Of course, these, 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 this fence was not here. I'm sure it was here when they made the movie, and I'm sure they removed it because you can't see it in the movie. They probably had to put it back when they were done because all this barbed wire was here with those exact stakes, and that wooden post right there is in the shot as well. So it's actually a very cool filming location, mostly because it remains pretty unchanged, and there are not a lot of places in Southern California, Orange County, Riverside County, Los Angeles County, where they touch. It's, well, some places in Riverside County, but way out there. There are not a lot of places in this part of Southern California that still look like this, which is, I'm sure, why they chose this location, because you can see the hills in the background look very similar to Burbank, but you've got these open fields. And looking this way towards Corona, and Norco and Riverside, there's just nothing out there. Sadly, housing developments are starting to creep in this way, so I don't know how long that beautiful walk back to Hill Valley shot is going to look like that without a bunch of McMansions and condos popping up, but for the moment, this still remains one of those awesome filming locations where you can actually come and take a gander, take a view, Ah, uh, and it looks almost exactly the same as it did in the movie. Speaking of that walk back to Hill Valley, Adam and I figured it out last time that you can't just, you can't line up the shot and get it the same from here. You see too many buildings. You actually have to go way down there towards this model airplane runway, way down there at the bottom of that hill and then start walking up and that would be the shot. That's kind of cool because they filmed the shot here. Marty looking at the billboard and then it looks like he just a little it looks like he starts walking that way, but actually they start over from down there and he's walking this way. Very strange the way you come to a filming location and you start to piece together where they put the shots and it doesn't always make as much sense as it made on film, if that makes sense, which it doesn't. Anyway, the whole reason I came out here is because Adam the Woo, give me a little motivation, get out of bed, stop laying around watching Charlie Chaplin films. I was gonna go record some voice stuff for a cartoon this morning with Jeff Heimbach, but Jeff Heimbach sent me a really weird message. He said he had some kind of fecal meetings today. I don't know what that means. I kind of don't want to know what that means. Ooh, maybe he got sick. Maybe he has a tummy cramp. I'm not sure. But so I was just going to lay there all day like, well, nothing to do today. Maybe I'll vlog from my bed. But of course, my good buddy Adam the Woo said, get off your duff, go do something. So here I am. One of my favorite filming location places in honor of the memory of the Adam the Woo video. So go to Adam the Woo's channel, youtube.com slash Adam the Woo, and look in his filming locations playlist. I'm sure he has one for the Back to the Future filming locations videos, which I am in. I apologize if you couldn't hear half of this because the wind, I'm going to return home having done my duty instead of sleep well. I'm going to upload this vlog well. I hope you guys are having a great and wonderful day. I'm actually having a pretty great and wonderful day now at the moment. The only thing is, I'm pretty excited to leave the 50s and go back to 2014, only because it's very humid. We're having this weird weather because of some kind of hurricane or tropical storm thing going on in Baja, Mexico. And so we've had this weird, very humid for Southern California, muggy, warm weather. So it's actually very hot. Am I making it look like it's cold wearing this time travel uniform? Because it's not cold, it's hot. And I'm starting to get a little sweaty. I know that's gross, but let's let it stand because it's the truth. And the truth is important, people. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm enjoying being on this road. I am very excited just to sort of pilgrimage back to the future. Pilgrimage. Look at it. It's so wonderful. I love to be back in the future. Wait a minute. Back in the past? This is the future. Why am I laying on a road? No one can answer these questions. These are the questions that drive humanity forward into the future. Back to the future. Clearly, I've run out of things to say. Subscribe for some more sometimes vlogs. Check out the other channel, Live Fast, Die Poor, all kinds of crazy random land adventures. Going to go on some more adventures before I can get the permission I need to go film some stuff in San Francisco. I'm trying to scrape enough gas money back together. In the meantime, without touching that gas money, to go do some stuff around LA. In the meantime, of course, we will have some Disneyland history coming up. I had one in the works, but 
there were some kerfuffles, and I might have to start over. We'll see. I want it to be good. Well, I don't know if they're ever good, but they're always as good as they can be. Trust me. All right, everybody. I'm going to get back in my 2006 Mustang vehicle from the future. I don't know where my time travel events are. I don't have any. Someday, maybe I'll own a real DeLorean time machine, go back in time, and maybe go to college before I start doing all this stuff. What do you think about that? Nah. Who are we kidding? I'm not going to do that. All right, one last look. Lion Estates, 1955. And shout out to my buddy Adam the Woo. Go check out that video. And I'll see you guys later. Later today? Probably not. Maybe for some more sometimes vlogs. Instagram, live fast, die poor. Facebook, live fast, die poor. Livefastdiepoor.com. And if you want a schnazzy t shirt, sorry, I don't sell these time travel uniforms. Livefastdiepoor.spreadshirt.com. Have I done my duty? I've done my duty. Now I'm going to go home and sleep well.